Virginia's lieutenant governor is breaking glass ceilings and creating opportunities for future generations. But it's a personal tragedy that has given Winsome Earl Sears an even greater connection to those who are struggling, including people facing mental health issues. CBS 6's Tracy Sears shares her story in this You Are Not Alone report. Winsom Sears is making history and opening doors for others, not only as the first woman to serve as Lieutenant Governor of Virginia, but the first woman of color elected to statewide office in Virginia. So help me God. Her success as a trailblazer is recognized worldwide, but it's her strength as a mother who's experienced unimaginable heartbreak that has given her the compassion to lead. You think about, I should have done this, and I should have done that, but you know, you just. In 2012, Sears's 27-year-old daughter, Dejan, and her five and seven-year-old grandchildren, Faith and Victoria, died in a car accident. Dejan was suffering from mental illness, a condition she had battled most of her adult life. She got in a car one night and um, she was experiencing an episode. We didn't know she had stopped taking her medicine and she was driving the car at 100 miles an hour and ended up killing herself and our grandchildren and injuring another person. The loss devastated the family and left Sears paralyzed in grief. They're supposed to bury us not us bury them and when you're looking at three caskets not one not two but three caskets in front of you and you're trying to and then you have surviving children and you have to comfort them you know god bless my husband because i really don't know who was in those caskets but with that loss sears eventually found the personal strength and the courage to fight for change, especially today with an increase of depression and anxiety, addiction, and violence plaguing communities. They just arrested in Florida a 10-year-old who wants to go and shoot up his elementary school. Let's examine what that really means. He wants to go and murder people. If we come to the wrong problem, we're going to find the wrong solutions. There is a problem in our communities, and it's happening at the younger and younger ages. Have all the senators voted? Leading the Virginia Senate this session, Sears fought for funds for mental health initiatives. The recently passed budget includes $76 million for behavioral health care facilities, better access to bed space, and higher pay for mental health care workers. It also includes $270 million for more support staff in schools, including nurses, social workers, and psychologists. But Sears says even more needs to be done. Because even today, families are experiencing the same roadblocks Sears and her husband did more than a decade ago. We've got to find the money. We, we've got to say that prioritize. There are things that if we don't address them, they're only going to get worse. Mental health is absolutely one of them. While 10 years have passed since the death of her daughter and grandchildren. I have God. I don't know how anybody else does it. She prays other families never have to experience what she has. The saying that time heals all wounds, it doesn't. What it does is it helps to, to, to help you to cope better, but it doesn't really heal. Among the changes the lieutenant governor would like to see is more resources in schools, including middle school, to help children identify and cope with mental health issues. She says eliminating the stigma is crucial, especially in the black community. For You Are Not Alone, I'm Tracy Sears. And we have a link to resources on our website. Go to WTVR.com.